approximation and errors. The base and the height of a right angled triangle were measured 6.4 cm and 3.5 cm respectively. Determine to one decimal place the percentage error in calculating the area of the triangle. So let's go to the solution. Now the question is, find the percentage error in calculating the area of the triangle and you're given uh, the height and you're given the base. So the base is 6.4, the height is 3.5. How do you get the percentage error while calculating the area of this triangle? That is where you should begin. The percentage error is given by absolute error in finding the area of the triangle divided by the actual area of the triangle then we multiply by 100%. That is how you're supposed to get that. How do we get the absolute error in calculating the area of this triangle? Absolute error in calculating the area of this triangle is given by a half multiplied by we have the maximum area minus the minimum area of this triangle. Now, how do we get the maximum and the minimum area? We need to get the limits. Are uh, you given the height? The height of these, we start with the base. Eh? The base is a 6.4. So we need to know the limits under which this base lies. The smallest unit of measurement is, you can see this one is given correct to one decimal place. So the smallest unit of measurement is 0 0.1. So therefore the absolute error, the absolute error you're going to take a half times the smallest unit of measurement which is uh, 0 0.1. This will be 0 0.05. This is the absolute error in this specific measurement. So if you want to know the limits under which this base lies, we are going to have 6.4 plus or minus this absolute error 0 0.05. And therefore, the limit will be 6.45. That is when we add 0 0.05. And when you subtract, you will get 6.3. Five. So these are the limits of the base. What about the height? The height measures uh, 3.5. So the smallest unit of measurement again is um, 0 0.1. This one is correct to one decimal place. So it's 0 0.1. Eh? 0 0.1. So a half times 0 0.1, this will give 0 0.05. So again, the limits will lie. We have 3.5 plus or minus 0 0.05, like that. And this will give 3.55, that is when you add, and 3.45, that is when you subtract 0 0.05. So these are the limits for the base, the limits for the height. They are very useful because these are the ones that you're going to use in calculating the maximum area, the minimum area. Now let's go to calculation of the maximum area. So maximum area, you know how to get the area of a um, triangle is a half times the base times the height. So in this case you have a half times the base. Now since you are getting the maximum area, we are going to use the upper limits for the base. So for the base you are going to use 6.45. 6.45. Then for the height again, we use the, the upper limit, which is 3.5. 
3.55 so this will give us the maximum area so very fast you multiply this using a calculator and this will give 11 point four four eight seven five that is the maximum area now let's get the minimum the minimum area minimum area a half times we are going to use the lower limit for the minimum area so we have six point three five for the base then for the height again we have 3.45 so get this product so this will give 10.95375 so now we have the maximum area we have the minimum area so let's get the uh, now the absolute error in calculation of the area this is how we get it remember we have written that before so absolute error absolute error therefore in calculation of the area will be a half multiplied by the maximum area which is uh, 11.44875 minus the minimum 10.95375 like that and this will give a half times subtract whatever is inside the bracket here 11.44875 minus 10.95375 it will give 0 0.495 so this one will give uh, when you work it out multiply it by a half this will give 0 0.2475 so this is the absolute error in calculation of the area now let's go back to now the percentage error absolute error which you have already obtained over the actual area so we need to get the actual area now we need to get the actual area and getting the actual area is quite easy so actual area we use the actual measurements so it will be half times the base the base is 6.4 the exact measurement where they are then times the height which is 3.5 so this one will give 11.2 that is 11.2 centimeter squared that is the actual here now we have everything that we need to calculate the percentage error we have the absolute error so therefore uh, percentage error let's get the percentage error now so percentage error is equals to absolute error we got it it is here 0 0.24 75 divided by the actual area we just calculated it it is here 11.2 so 11.2 multiply by 100 percent so just use a calculator to work out that it's supposed to give your answer correct to one decimal place and this will give 2.2 zero one which is the same as two point two percent correct to one decimal place and that is how you're supposed to solve that question